Right, so this is the BTS test set. We have connected to the battery input slash output a source, a DC source, which is now generating 25.6 volts. And here we see 25.8 volts. The device will automatically decide what is the class of the battery. Is it 24, 110, 60, or 220? So in order to start the test, what we do is we should first say what is the lowest voltage at which the testing will stop. We will leave 20 volts for now. So this is the stopping voltage. Here we need to set what will be the maximum testing current. In your standard application, you would probably use 50 or 100 amps. Since our load here is much smaller, we cannot generate that much. We can generate two or three amps. So let's say three amps will be what we will be continuously discharging. After that, you could also limit your discharge with the amount of energy which will be discharged. Let's say we'll put three amp hours, even though that we will not reach that because we will be discharging three amps at 25 volts. And this is the important one. This is the one which tells you for how long will you be discharging. Usually we'll put few hours here, but right now let's say we'll put five minutes. And <clears throat> you can see now we can just click start and have our testing. So right now I say start. By the way, we also see that this will be saved in the memory number five. We have eight memories. After we finish with this, we're going to delete all of them so that we have a clean device again. And I press start and confirm it here. And we can hear the valves starting, the fans starting, the current is going up. Minutes, we will be ready to download the results and see the measurement. 